How are we all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be looking at the werewolf cat items in The Sims 4. So here we have the main screen. I am so excited for this pack, you have no idea. So let's get reading. Life on the wild side. What big teeth you'll have. Transform into a wolf and embrace or fight your animalistic nature. Werewolf sims will have unique temperaments and abilities as they experience wolf-specific wolf life events. Alpha or lone wolf, craft your wolf identity. Were you bitten or were you born into it? Decide what kind of wolf you want to be. Find a pack, or, find a pack to prowl the night with or shun all that and try and make it as a lone wolf. I cannot say this word. I am so sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Lycanthrope law. I think that was right. You have a lot to learn about werewolves. Unravel wolf, werewolf, vampire and spellcaster lore as you read books, discover secret tunnels and interact with the denizens? Deniz denin den I don't know how to say that. Of Moonwood Mill. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. That was a roller coaster. But one thing that I am glad of is that they're incorpor incorporating vampire and spellcaster lore into it as well. Which I think is really, really cool. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are. Instantly, it looks absolutely incredible. I am in love with this so much. She looks so cute! Ah! Right, okay, so I think we'll look at the werewolf cast first, and then like the human side of it as well. So let's go in and let's have a look at like the ears and stuff like that. I am so excited. Look at all the different ears there are! So there's like so many different ones. You can have like the massive ones, or you can have one that's like folded, you can have them where they're both folded. That is so cool, and there's like eight different, no, ten different types, I can't count, sorry about that. There's like ten different types of ears you can have. Face-wise, there are six presets, which I think is pretty cool. So you've got stuff like this, you know, there's loads of really nice ones, and they are so, so cute! Um, then you have like the cheek tufts as well, so you can mess around with that, see all the different ones with that as well. Teeth, I am very excited about the teeth because you can still have like the vampire ones and stuff but then there is all, like, also like the werewolf ones as well um, which I think is pretty cool because like if you wanted a werewolf that had like vampire teeth you could totally do that which is really really cool so like look at that, that is so cute, I love it um, so I think that's it for like oh I'll show you quickly as well you can put clothing on them as well if you really wanted to which I think is quite cool um, and then you can also change like the colour coat and the pattern and stuff like that so if you wanted like a crazy wolf, like look at this, you can do like this one this is the one from the, um, what's it called, the trailer and then like you can mess around with all the colours and stuff like that I just think that's really really cool and then you also have paint mode as well where you can just paint on them like if I wanted to do like a massive love heart I I'm not going to do it because I am terrible at stuff like that and then you can change the body type and stuff like that as well, which is so, so cute. So now let's have a look at the human form, see what we can do there. Um, I have just randomised this sim, it isn't a sim that I have made. But she's quite cute, she's cute, apart from them angry eyes. But, you know, she's a werewolf, she's not going to be perfect. So let's have a look at her hairs first. Let's see what we have got here. So what I'm just going to quickly do, I'm just going to... Um, just sort by the pack because otherwise we would be absolutely here all day I love the little icon as well I feel like they've got a lot better with stuff like that uh, the icon's just adorable okay so let's have a look at the hairs so the first one is this one it's kind of like a mullet kind of style which is very very cute with the little plait at the side very cute next we've got this kind of shorter style which is like a bun um, is this the one? No, this isn't the one with the shaved at the back, but it's still absolutely adorable. Next we've got this kind of afro textured one that has like the little, I don't know what they're called, ringlets in them? Is that the name? I've got no idea. Next we've got this kind of feathered, like, long hairstyle, I guess. It kind of reminds me of the Get to Work one, but better. Like, it's got that kind of messy, rustic feel, but it's more controlled. Next we've got the mullet again, but this time it's like a more colourful version and yes, it does change with swatches, which is very, very cool. And then we also have the ponytail, but as a colourful version as well, which also changes with swatches, stuff like that. Um, next we have the exact same hairstyle, but it is shaved at the back. And it's got a really cute little moon. I don't know if that will change as well. 
no it doesn't it stays as a moon but that's quite fitting because you know werewolves and finally we've got this hairstyle this is very much like mine but shorter um this is very very cute i absolutely love this hairstyle okay so i don't think we have got any new hats i am fairly sure we didn't um i could be wrong so i'll have a quick look but i don't think we will have done no we didn't we didn't get any new hats which is totally fine let's have a look at pearson's now we got a new facial piercing which is pretty cool we got like a thick like two-part nose ring um and that's for both sides as well um which is very very cute and then we also have this like werewolf kind of prince one um this hair is really really bad one minute let me just scalp for a minute but they've got like writing on that one or there's one with like a paw print which is absolutely adorable okay so let's have a look at the clothing items now so we'll start off with tops um if it lets me do it <laughs> um but yeah so far i'm very very happy with this pack i think it is absolutely adorable um of course that could all change um as we see with other packs so first off we've got this kind of leather jack um leather jacket sweater combo kind of thing um which is very very adorable i love the fit i love how like it's kind of snug to the body um but it still carries that like rustic kind of thing next we have this t-shirt it's got many different styles okay just let her finish that <laughs> um we've got this kind of t-shirt there's some plainer swatches or we've got like some swatches with a girl on swatches with paw prints swatches with werewolves you know loads of different swatches um which is very very cute i love the kind of like ripped up kind of rustic oh my i can see that getting annoying very very quick um but yeah then we've got this sweater which has got loads of different patterns on it as well very very cute very very snug it looks so cozy and i love how it's like half tucked as well very cute next we have this denim jacket as well um which has like a nice little plain t-shirt underneath very adorable next we have got this knit, knit sweater kind of thing what is it knit is it crocheted i really don't know the difference <laughs> this is gonna happen every like 10 minutes isn't it? i'm just gonna have to be quiet and wait for it to finish um next we've got this other um kind of i don't know what to call it um is it a vest a sweater vest um but that's very very cute i like the pattern shirts underneath next we've got another denim jacket which is very very cute i love that purple swatch very adorable um we also have this kind of checkered top um there's some swatches where it's checkered some where it's not and it's got little tiny moons on like the buttons that is so cute um we also have this kind of hoodie um which has got some very very cute swatches it's ripped on the side which i think is pretty cool we also have um this has got some like more check patterns as well loads of little like badges on it as well stuff like that embroidered kind of badges adorable and then we also have this t-shirt it's got some pretty cool swatches on this one oh my god this is the ripped one where it's just like totally shredded so if you're trying to like follow like law and stuff like that you definitely can a lot more with the t-shirt because you know it's like almost like she's just transformed and she's just getting used to it that kind of thing i guess right um next finally for tops we have got this one which again absolutely adorable so let's have a look at bottoms then full body then accessories then shoes i think i think that's the way we're going to do it um, I think we also got some new tattoos as well, which I'm going to have to check out. But I'll have a look at that in a minute because there's too much going on. There's too much with this pack. I, I didn't think I'd be complaining that there'd be too much. So first off, we've got these kind of exposed pants, I guess. I don't really know what to call them. They're very adorable, though. I do like them. Um, we also have these ones, which are a bit more torn. Again, fits along with the story of Just Transformed. A bit new to it, that kind of thing. Uh, we also have these kind of leather pants which are very very cute um very like rocker very cute in that way as well we also have this skirt there is some checkered swatches but i love the little patches on it that is absolutely adorable we also have some ripped shorts they're again some very nice swatches um i love the exposed pockets underneath as well we also have a skirt with a little jumper tied around it um 
Oh, is that a coat? Oh, it's a little like coat on the back. Like, it's so cute. And then finally for pants, we have this kind of ripped up jeans, I guess. They look like jeans. I'm guessing they're jeans. We've got these ripped up jeans. Okay, so let's have a look at full body outfits now. I am excited for this one. So first off, we have this kind of patchwork jacket comfy looking thing um which i love i absolutely love it again i love the half tucked in shirt very very adorable um a lot of the stuff like this dress for example is giving me kind of like middle ages vibes so you could definitely have some fun with that as well um and then you get the more modern stuff like this one for example like the oversized tee with the jacket tied around it that screams more like 80s 90s <laughs> Um, next we have this kind of pinafore dress which has a little turtle neck underneath it looks very very thick very comfort I feel like that is beautiful <coughs> and then next we have this tucked in jumper with these really cute like embroidered pants that is absolutely adorable and then finally for full body outfits <coughs> We have this, um, again, a little dungaree set with a jumper underneath, which is so cute. Okay, so now let's have a look at accessories. I probably will have to remove the outfit for the accessories. First off, we have this little bracelet, which is very, very cute. You can't see it. I'm going to have to put like a short sleeve dress on it or something because you can't see it at all. Um, let me just find some kind of short sleeve dress. Let's go with that one. Okay, so here we are. We've got this like really nice little bracelet got like a little watch with it and stuff like that um gloves there might be new gloves there might not there is there's these kind of like little bandages which are very very cute so i know there's like a sparring kind of storyline to it so maybe that's where that fits in because they kind of look like boxers gloves if that makes sense um next we also have a few new rings to be honest uh, the first one is this little like moon one you can't really see it <laughs> But yeah, it's just like a little moon one. This one, I can't really see that either. Um, I'm not really sure what that is, but it's adorable all the same. And then finally we have this one, which honestly just looks like a wedding ring. I love it. Okay, so I think we also have some new fingernails as well. There are these ones, which kind of remind me of like dirt under the nails. Well, I feel like you could definitely go over storyline with that if you went with that swatch. Then there's also some prettier swatches as well, like this one, which again, very, very cute. And then we have the same ones, I think, but slightly longer. Oh no, I think they are slightly different. Very adorable. And then we finally have these ones, which again, look a bit more dirty, look a bit more rustic. And then you have the typical werewolf claws, you know, in case you don't want these claws, you've got them claws. So, you know, it's all good. Um, We may have some more leggings. Let's have a look. We do, we have these leggings, which, oh my god, they are adorable. So you've got some two-tone swatches, um, we've got some pattern swatches. And we also have plain ones, which, oh my god, that dress and these leggings are absolutely to die for. And finally, for shoes, let's have a look at them, because I saw a pair of boots that looked suspiciously suspiciously like Doc Martens and I'm very excited. So first off we have these kind of like knee high, not knee high, <laughs> ankle high converse which are very very adorable. The kind of graffiti as well which is so cute. We also have, these are the Doc Martens that I saw, they are very very reminiscent of them I think. <laughs> And then finally, again, with the storyline of, like, just becoming a wolf, we've got these ones where it kind of reminds me of that one film, Bigfoot, like, from, like, years ago. It kind of reminds me of them, um, where, like, he broke his shoes and then he had to get new ones. Or Sonic. It reminds me of Sonic, actually. <laughs> this is just me going off on one. So, we also have some new tattoos. We've got this one where it's kind of like the dirty hands. We also have this really adorable butterfly. I saw this on the trailer. And I was like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> so cute. 
And then we also have the same like kind of dirty hands. You can't really see it because of the bandages, but just take my word for it. And then we also have a back tattoo. You can't really see it, but you can see it in the little picture, um, which is very, very cute. So there also are some body scars. So let's have a look at them. Um, so there's like loads of new stuff here. So in case you want to do like a storyline where she was bitten or something, there's little bite marks, there's little scratch marks, loads of different stuff, which I think is very, very cool. So let's have a look for toddlers now. Oh. Oh, okay. Right. We'll leave toddlers for now then, <laughs> because it's not going to let me do it because the beast form isn't available for toddlers. So... We'll do the male version first, and then we'll do the toddler version. <coughs> okay, so let's have a look at the male hairs first. Um, I'm guessing that the wolf version will just be exactly the same. So we have this hair, which is the same as the female one. And then we also have these two hairs, again, the same as the females. Um, hats, it looks like we do have a new hat this time unless i am mistaken no i am mistaken i am sorry about that sorry if i got anyone's hopes up there um accessories i'm guessing they are all the same again um oh no there's a few new necklaces i'm guessing hmm. these were the same but i just didn't check <laughs> so i'm sorry if i missed them out but i'm guessing they're the same for women as well so now let's have a look at clothing i'm guessing again a lot of the items oh. will be the same these people better stop interrupting me because it's really annoying. So yeah, that's the same jumper. I think this is a new jacket. Oh no, no, that's the same jacket. That's the same jacket. Same jacket. Same jumper. Uh. Same top. Yeah, so all the items of clothing for males are the same as for females. Um, let's have a look at the full body items because I'm guessing there will be some newer stuff uh -oh. here. Um, no, they are exactly the same items again for males and for females. Um any new bottoms potentially again all the same as the female versions which honestly a little bit disappointing um i'm guessing the bracelets and stuff will be the same as well yep all the same i've got to say that is very disappointing well i'm sorry but that's actually quite sad and again all the shoes are exactly the same that that is a bit disappointing to be honest so let's have a look at child's um the child form and see what there is there maybe there's some new stuff for children as well potentially I, I don't know now after seeing that oh my god that is adorable though all right yeah yeah never mind the pack's amazing <laughs> sorry but the pack is now incredible because that was just absolutely adorable so again we've got the same male hairstyles i'm guessing if we went into the female form it would be the same as well um, clothing wise, I don't know how much new stuff we will have. Oh no, 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 wait. We've got like this really cute like knit sweater, which, you know, you've got a rainbow one. They love howling and it's just really upsetting me now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like there's some really cute stuff here. Like look at the little patches on it. It's that little red riding hood. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like a red riding hood! That is so cute! Oh my god, I love that! Right, never mind, this pack is incredible, it's now my favourite pack. Um, and then we've got these kind of like patchwork shorts as well, which again, absolutely adorable! Um, I don't know if we've got any new shoes, it might just be the same. Uh, no, we didn't get any new shoes at all. Um, did we get any new leggings? Nope. Okay, so that's it for the male form, let's have a look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's have a look at the female form and see what's new there as well. Um, oh, this is a cute kid. Right, I'll just take her accessories off so we can have a proper look. Um, so again, same hairstyles as before. Just the same ones all over again, which is totally fine, to be honest with you. It's better than getting nothing, I guess. At least they are changing it. Oh, there's some new hats for the kids. That's intriguing. Oh no, no, no. These two are city living, I've just not opened them yet. But this one's new. Um, so yeah, there is like a little werewolf one. Oh my god! Where you can have like a little werewolf hat, that is so cute! Oh my god, I love that. Right, okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, I'm guessing the tops will be the same for boys and girls. They are. 
Um, is there any full body outfits? Because that'll be interesting. Um, I'm not seeing any. I don't think there is. No. Okay, so that's it for the children. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's just killing me a little bit how they just keep going, like, just screaming every two seconds. I kind of want to see if the toddlers howl now. That would be well fun if they do. <laughs> so, hair, there is actually no hair for toddlers, which is quite sad. However, I did see a full body outfit, and if it's not here, I'm going to throw a fit. Because I will be very upset. <laughs> because it's not come up saying there's new stuff, but there is. Oh, thank God. So, first of all, we have this, like, little dungaree set. Very, very cute. Very, very adorable. This is the main event. This is it. That. That is it. That is all I need in this game. That is absolutely adorable. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, EA. You have made my day. So, now let's have a look at the aspiration and see if there are any new traits as well. Because I'm intrigued. Mr. Coy, believe it. Fair enough. Okay, there is actually a section just that just says werewolf. Werewolf initiate. This sim wants to unleash unleash her inner beast and become a werewolf. That is quite cool. Um, I think that is the it, though that is the only aspiration. Um, let's see if there are any new traits as well. I'm not sure if there will be though. Um, there are not, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, I, overall, final thoughts, I am very, very happy with this. A bit disappointed that the males don't have the same as the females. No, they do have the same as the females, it's just directly copied and pasted. That is a bit disappointing, I do have to say. But overall, I am really, really happy with this, and I would definitely recommend getting this if you are a cast kind of person, and if you're a gameplay kind of person as well. It seems very, very packed full and... <laughs> I'll just let her finish. A lot of time has clearly gone into it. So, thank you so much for watching today. And I'm, if you have any more suggestions, please let me know. If you like my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!